Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are talking equities and E-minis back on the track higher. Recall last two weeks of August, we spent majority of that time below the 50-day moving average at around 2450 in the DC Mini S&P. And over the last couple of days, we've seen a little bit of a, of a rally, we'll call it. It's been choppy, uh, but we did get on. Once we got off that 50-day, we, we kind of extended outside of the range. We started to see a little uptick. And today, we got a little help from the, from the, from the news in which uh, the debt ceiling debacle, which is not gone, but at least pushed down the road a little bit, was extended out to December 15th. So that's going to kind of give stocks a little breathing room and as well as bonds. You're going to kind of see uh, the dollar catch a little bit of a bid here. It, it really doesn't solve anything. It more or less just takes the, the discussion and, the, and, the, and, and whatever is going to happen, how they extend it permanently is just going to get pushed down the road. So right now that's given stocks a little bit of breathing room. We've seen them extend their gains and we're well above that 50-day moving average now, actually closing in on the all-time highs. So you can kind of see where the debt ceiling kind of ranked in the, in the sort of the fear of the market. And if you look at volatility, uh, yesterday we saw volatility in the VIX spike up to 14 uh, from a close of about 10 on Friday. And, and then we, we come back today and we were not only off those highs, but we're well off those highs, settling near a two, two day low at around 11 and a half. Still elevated uh, in terms of VIX speak, because if you're above 10 these days, it seems like that's the market's got a, got a bit of a pulse. But ultimately, I think that the debt ceiling gives the market a little bit of calm. Yes, there are still many issues out there uh, when you're talking about geopolitical risks, whether you're talking about other issues in Washington, things like budgets and health care and tax reform, as well as what's happening down in the Caribbean when you have this, this hurricane, this level five hurricane coming in, Irma, uh, certainly is going to have to create some angst in the market. We, uh, if it turns north and heads towards Florida, it's expected. Uh, it's certainly going to have some damage, and as well as we have some nuclear facilities there that are going to be on high watch. So some things to be concerned about. So while equities do kind of breathe a sigh of relief based on what we got from the debt ceiling, there are still some, some things that should be uh, concerning on the radar. And lastly, what do we have the rest of the week? Well, looking out the rest of the week, we have an ECB meeting, which I don't think directly affects the equity market. However, the tone will, and we're look, expecting Mario Draghi to come out and maybe talk back some of his buying, bond buying program, which has been in place for some time. Likewise, we do also get a, a slew of Fed speakers, which will, um, which will continue to talk about policy. And policy, again, doesn't directly affect equities in, when it's talk, but it certainly will give a set a tone. And lastly, we have the weekend. And over the weekend, we're going to be concerned about not only with the hurricanes, we're going to be con concerned about the geopolitical risks. There's an anniversary in North Korea. And I think that there's a lot of reasons why you probably want to go home uh, a bit cautious over the weekend. So I think right now equities, while they're nearing their highs, it's more about sort of getting one, uh, one issue put to rest, at least for the next two months. And now we have some others that we have to put back in focus. So I think equities are probably limited upside here for the rest of the week. Certainly the, the Fed will speak Speakers will have their say in, in how, they, how they approach rates. Right now, the market anticipating really only about a 30% chance that they raise rates again this year. And you got to go out to 2019 until you start to see a, another 25 basis point rate hike fully priced. So the market is very much leaning on the dovish side. And equities don't mind that because of the fact that low interest rates, low yields continue to feed stocks is the only other place to get that yield. And I think that's going to go hand in hand. However, if the Fed speakers begin to talk about high inflation and begin to talk about more aggressive rates, hikes, that could, that could also be a, a negative, at least a slight negative to equities from what we've known over the last couple of years. So right now, equity is moving higher. I think it's limited, at least for the next few days. We have to get through the weekend. We have to get through the hurricanes and we have to get through North Korea over the weekend. But at least we got one thing solved, and that's the debt ceiling, at least until December 15th. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.